A good training is one whereby the participants are engaged and involved in the curriculum and they are involved in the discussion points. Every training that you do with this curriculum will be different because every training will have different participants. So recognizing the individual needs of each of those participants, understanding what they'd like to get out of it, and really encouraging their participation is going to be critical. So as discussions occur, uh, it, it's often the case with interactive trainings that these trainings get off course a little bit. And uh, we recognize that, and you should have plenty of time to kind of bring everybody back into the fold. Keep in mind that as a trainer, it's important that um, you, are, you are the deliverer of information. You, do, you might not have all the answers. You, you are not necessarily a counselor. So uh, you may not be able to answer all the questions that they have. So be honest about what you know and what you don't know, and you know, offer to provide assistance to find additional information. On the website, there is a, a list of resources. Certainly, PCAR is a resource for you as well in terms of finding out additional information that might help you with your training. So, as a trainer, the first thing that we should always do when we're training participants is we should always begin with an introduction of ourselves an introduction of the folks in the room. We actually do have a fun interactive exercise uh, that is adaptable to you with whatever questions you would like, but we give some suggestions of how you can engage the audience in the beginning. So engagement in the very beginning is, is really critical because that way once we get people starting at least with the introduction, it gets them started talking throughout the curriculum. So with that being said, uh, as a part of the beginning after the introduction, it is important that you establish some ground rules. Uh, we do have an exercise that, that goes through the ground rules in the training. You may have your own ground rules that are important within your facility and with the folks that you are actually training. But the ground rules, especially when, it ta when we talk about confidentiality and self-disclosure, those kinds of things are going to be very important to establish upfront in the, in the training curriculum. Additionally, um, because we do have a diverse audience, we want to ensure that people know where the restroom facilities are and that you point out where the handicap accessible facilities are for people that, uh, that need that extra help.